This video will show you how to use some miscellaneous options in the Lightorama Show Editor that we haven't uh, covered before. Uh, in earlier videos, we created a show, and let's open that show up now. Here it is. You might want to view those earlier videos if you haven't already before viewing this video. The options that we're talking about in this video, you can get to them through this Options button. So let's click on that, and the Show Options dialog opens up. There are two sections to this dialog, Startup Type and Sequence Loading. First one is the startup type. Um, basically, this controls uh, what will happen when the scheduled start time of your show is reached. For example, if your show is scheduled to run from 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock on Friday night, this section controls what exactly is going to happen at 7 o'clock on Friday night. So by default, it's set to show starts immediately. And what that means is um, the show will behave the way that we described in all of the other earlier videos, which would mean at 7 o'clock, the background and startup sections start up. After the startup section ends, the animation and musical sections start. Uh, when the end time of the show is reached, uh, these two sections will end and the shutdown section will begin. When the shutdown section ends, the shutdown and background sections will end and then the show's over. So that's by default, show starts immediately. If show starts on trigger, then at 7 o'clock, when the scheduled start time will happen, is reached, nothing will really happen except that Lightorama will start looking for a trigger. In other words, if you have a button, for example, hooked up to one of your controllers that someone can push to start the show, then uh, Lightorama will start the show when that button is pushed, as long as it's during the scheduled runtime of the show. So if the show is from 7 to 9, at 6.59 somebody pushes that button, nothing's going to happen. But if they push it at 7 o'clock, your show will start. If they don't push it at 7 o'clock, nothing will happen. If they push it at 7.10, your show will start at 7.10. Background section starts immediately, but the rest of the show starts on a trigger. So uh, this third option here is uh, basically just what it says. <laughs> At 7 o'clock, the sequences in your background section will start up. But your startup section and the rest of your show won't until someone pushes that button. Now, down here, the startup trigger section... Uh, it, you have to specify if you choose either of these two options, but not this option. Either of these two options, you have to specify what the trigger is that you're going to use to start your show. And uh, in other words, you have this button hooked up to some Lightorama controller, and it's hooked up to some plug on that controller. You have to say which controller it is and which plug it is. So maybe it's controller number three, and plug number seven. Whoops, that's six. <laughs> plug number seven. So that's the startup time, startup type option. The other option down here, sequence loading. It's uh, no longer really as necessary as it might have used to have been um, in earlier versions of the software. Uh, but I'll just go over it now for um, in case you do need it. Um, just as a little background, uh, if you have a large sequence, it might take some noticeable amount of time to load that sequence. So when your show is playing, the first time that it goes to play a certain sequence, it has to be loaded. And if it's a very large sequence, who knows, maybe it'll take 10, 15 seconds to load. And you don't really want that dead time in your show while it's trying to load this sequence. So you could um, select this option, sequences are loaded before any are played. So then when the scheduled start time of your show is reached, let's say 7 o'clock, instead of your show starting up at that time, what will happen is all of your sequences will be loaded by Lightorama, and only after it has loaded all of them will the show actually start. So that way it can go from one to the next uh, very quickly without needing to load them in between when it first sees them. Uh, by default, it'll be sequences are loaded when they're needed, and if that's the option that you choose, then there's 
the first time that any given sequence is played during a show, uh, it will be loaded before that. And if it's a very large sequence, it might take a while. As I said before, this option isn't really as needed now as it used to be because in newer versions of the software, I believe starting with version 3.0, there's a new concept called compressed sequences, which um, uh, basically allows sequences to be loaded much faster than they were before. But um, there could conceivably be some case in which you want to turn off compressed sequences or in which you don't have compressed sequences available. And in that case, uh, it might be good to know that this option exists just to see whether it'll you know, help you out in whatever you're trying to work through. So I think that's about it. Well, it's not quite it. <laughs> Let's click on OK, and then remember to save our changes. And I think that's about it for creating a show. I hope this helps.